Hey everyone, welcome to today's tutorial about masking in Mocha. You know masking is one of the essential part of video editing to make transitions and effects. We can make many changes to our videos by masking, but masking is always time consuming. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to create a mask in any video. And I found that Mocha can do it so fast and correctly in After Effects. We have this video on the timeline and I'm gonna draw a mask around this mirror. Let's go to the effects and presets to find out the Mocha AE. After that, we'll drag and drop Mocha on the footage on the timeline. Now click on Mocha, it will open up a new window. Now we can drag the time head to the beginning frame. To draw a mask or shape, we have to take the pen tool. To make the masking easy, we can zoom in and out by holding down the G key and then left clicking the mouse, dragging it up for zoom in and dragging it down for zoom out. Now let's draw a mask around this mirror once and then Mock will be tracking this mask for the entire video. If you need to move this video around, hold down the X key, left clicking the mouse and move it around where you need to move. This way you can complete the drawing mask. As our masking is done, now we can hold down the G key and click the left button of the mouse once to change zoom level to fit. To adjust the round of the masking points, we can right click here and move it slightly. So it is time for the tracking, we can enable perspective although there is no perspective issue. Then click on this right arrow icon to start tracking, as our time indicator is at the very beginning frame. If you see the tracking is not following the mirror perfectly, you always have the option to adjust it manually. It seems Mocha masking and tracking at the same time is little bit better than 3D tracking in After Effects. Now click here on this icon to save the project, after that close it. Let's go to the effect controls, here we will find the Mocha. You can just expand the mat under Mocha and click on create AE mask. And now you can see the marks on the composition. Let's move the time indicator to check out the entire clip. If you want, you can enable the transparency grid. Now select the video layer and hit the control bus G key at the same time to make this layer duplicate. We can name this layer out of the mask. For the underlying video layer, the name will be inside the mask. You can just expand the first video layer and go to layer 1. Click on inverted to see other part of the mask. If I hide and unhide both layers, you can clearly understand the difference between two layers. At this time, we have to hide the underneath layer of the video because it helps us to see the edge of the masking area of the first video. It is too sharp, we need to make it obtuse. So let's go to the layer 1 and change the mask feather value to 10, that's it. Next hide the video layer 2 by clicking on this eye icon and expand it to go to the mask layer 1. Now we can adjust the mask expansion to hide the masking line. Sometimes it could be apparent to you, so I wanna make its value 4. To animate this layer, we have to go to the transform. Now click on this stopwatch of the position to set a keyframe. So here is our first keyframe for the animation. Move the time indicator to the end of the video and decrease the Y value of the position to move this masking video layer up until it goes out of the frame. We can minimize the distance between two keyframes to make the animation faster. It looks perfect now. If you see, you find there is no motion blur that is unnatural. To bring motion blur to this animation, we have to do a very simple thing. This icon is for motion blur. So now we are gonna enable this icon for video layer 2 and you'll notice changes in the composition. Let's make this keyframe ease out to start the smooth animation. Easing is not mandatory for this keyframe as it goes out of the frame. Now we can play the video or animation. If you wanna change the velocity of this animation, you can click on this graph editor. As I wanna avoid bringing any changes here, so let's get back to regular. It is time to place a video underneath these videos. So now we have to go through project and drag this video to the timeline. That's all. I hope you enjoyed this easy masking tutorial using Mocha inside After Effects. In the next After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to add a videos or animation to the buildings using Mocha AE. If you want, you can watch that tutorial, I keep the link below in the description. So it is time to say bye for this time, see you later in the next video.